Hi everybody and welcome back to the Stone Ranger. Before I uh, get started, we've had lots of new subscribers, so welcome you all to the channel. I hope you're going to enjoy it. It's um, The community is really growing nice and strong, so I appreciate that. So the video here is about repairing a dry stone wall. If you've got a little gap in a wall, a boundary wall, um, the basics of dry stone walling. We've done how to build a new wall. We've done a, that was a two part video if you want to go and have a look at that I can always put the link in the description But this is just a basic boundary wall We're going to be rebuilding a nice bit of Gritston here in um, Right in the centre of the Peak District National Park I'm actually in a Peak District National Park woodland today It's called the Wim, the Wim Plantation Really beautiful It really is It's If it wasn't for that traffic on the road it would be very peaceful There'd be lot, You'd hear lots of bird noises but you would kind of have to drown that out to be able to pick up all the bird noises and I've been informed this morning by one of the local rangers that um, there's some pie fly catchers I'm just looking I think the box is just over what they're nesting in just on those trees over here so you never know we might get lucky and catch a glimpse of them and the woodland's also full of loads of bits of stonework so I've actually sat on here um, an old millstone which is possibly about three meters in diameter a really big piece of stone I will stick some pictures as I normally do in the top corners of the screen as I'm going around for you to see or anything I think you need to see in more detail but the woodland really is beautiful a real mix of uh, mix of trees really nice yeah so the video is about uh, rebuilding this boundary wall in case you've got a boundary wall you want to repair um, very basic very simple it is going to be next to the roadside so possibly um, that can be quite noisy so you'll have to bear with me with that so I've only bought very basic tools, I bought walling hammer, brick hammer, I've got my gloves and I've got some uh, string lines and pins to go along the side but I'll show you more about that as we're doing. I do have the mattock in the back of the car if I need it but I'm hoping we don't. So what I'm going to do now is take the, um, the camera down to the side of the road, um, start stripping the wall out, I'm not going to take it too far away from the wall and then once it's all stripped out ready and we're onto the foundations I'll jump back on and show you what we're going to do from there. Right, let's get going. So I've got that wall all pulled out now down to the foundations and what I'm going to do next is part, start putting the foundation stones in but before I do that I'm going to put these string lines up. So these are just a standard walling pin, uh, string pins, uh, brick lines people call them. You can pick these up very cheap from your local hardware shop, online or uh, flea markets, boot sale, stuff like that. I always keep a set of four of these in the bucket with some string. So these just place into the wall like so you tap them in with your hammer make sure they're in well and you pull in your string so that helps you with the coursing um, of your stone and also getting your highs and getting your straight lines you'll see me using them throughout the video i'm just going to say one more time i am very close to the main road so if anything if any of this doesn't come through on the video the talking when i edit it at the end um, i'll put some subtitles or a little description of tools i'm using so yeah i'm going to set the string lines up now and put the foundations in you might see from the video there's a good argument to rebuild all this wall uh, but the minute that's not on the car so we're just going to gap it up uh, and just make it look uh, presentable for for the the um, all the tourists we're going to get through this weekend coming into the rally for the rest of the year so yeah we'll keep it nice and tidy and then help um, it sets a good precedent for everyone else keeping everything else tidy around us taking the lit home and the lay by so yeah i'm going to put the um, foundation stones in now and then we'll get building a bit more wall.
So as you've just seen, I've uh, worked up to my string line, so I've just moved it up to the next level. As I've been going up, I've been making sure my joints are crossed. Met plenty of middle in the wall, what we call the hearting, which we spoke about in previous videos. If you don't know about this and this is your first time tuning into the channel, the hearting is the middle what bonds the wall together inside. So as you're putting the length into the wall and building the stone, in all the little gaps we put the hearting, the middle, bits of stone, the small bits, we get them. So as the, the wall settles over the next 18 months, two years, it locks together and then pieces really bind in there and really make it strong. Without any middle, we won't have a wall. Every individual element of the wall is important to each other. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna build the next course and then we'll talk about getting some through stones on there. Uh, I'll just move the camera back and you can see me put this whole next course in. So I've just got that through stone uh, put on there, so we're about halfway up the wall now, so we're just about to start, start the, um, the second lift, we call it, as we're getting up, so we'll go up towards the bottom of the coping stones next. So we're halfway up the wall, so that's where you'll, I like to put the through stones, but in all honesty, wherever they fit, uh, the more the merrier, you can't have too many through stones. So I've got one more down here, but I'm actually going to come up another course before I put that in because of the, the length of it, it's just, it's just a little bit too short. Um, so yeah, but traditionally they go, they go halfway through. So the idea of the through stone is, is it ties one side of the wall to the next, so you're not getting any movement, you might have seen walls, or you might come across a wall in the future if you're just starting out really, where the centre of the wall is just full of, uh, it's just hollow, and you, you've basically got two separate walls. And without that middle and that hearting and them through, st and them through stones, they're very separate and they'll, they'll fall to bits and there's no middle in there. But one other thing is when you're crossing your joints on your two courses, try and overlap them so you're making a makeshift uh, through stone. So each course you do, so if you can get them to overlap your stones on your courses, it's not always um, doable, but if you can do that in places, that really helps to, to bond the wall together and tie it in. And again, as it settles over, them, um, over the next 18 months, that'll really tie it in again uh, together to make it stronger, make a, a lot better wall. One thing I would say is if the, you've got to work with the stone you've got. You do want through stones, but you've got to work with the stone you've got. It's not always possible, whether you're working for a farmer or it's private, if you can get some in, ideal. If not, you're going to have to improvise and you're going to have to cross them over more as they are in the courses. If you want to build fireplaces, you've got to build fireplaces. You've got to buy fireplace stone. It's, you can't buy a rough wall in stone to build a fireplace. You've got to just build with what you've got. And it's, instead of it making it look really pretty, make it really strong. And then over time, as you're getting better at it, the, the face will get a lot uh, nicer and get a lot prettier. And then the speed will come as well. So concentrate first and foremost on getting the strength in the wall and building it correctly. And then going forward, you'll get the speed and you'll get the looks. So yeah, so what I'm going to do now, move the strings up one more time. Um, just below the top, the top course, we'll go there underneath the coping stones, build it up, get that next through stone in, and then uh, we'll be levelling off and getting some coping stones on there. And then hopefully we'll get a cup of coffee.
So that's the top all levelled up and finished. I was actually scratching around towards the end there to get enough stone to level it up. But it's all done, it's all nice and tight. I'm happy with it, nice little gap on the boundary wall. So if you remember at the beginning of the video when we put all the coping stones to one side, the half moon um, shaped stones, it's time to get them back on the wall there and that'll be the last job before we um, have a good look around, make sure everything's okay and we'll, uh, we'll get ready for home. It. So that's it, nice little gap completed, all done and dusted, all tidied up, tools are um, back at the car. I'm just going to have another little walk around this wood because there's some deer in here. I'm going to see if I can sneak up on one of them and just get a photo. Um, I appreciate your time watching and I'll see you all next time.